Welcome to this video about service of the Danfoss ICM20 motor operator valve. In this video, we will give you some tips how to do an efficient service of the ICM20 motor operator valve, which you see an example of here, to ensure safe and reliable valve operation and minimum service costs. Therefore, we will show you how to correctly replace the ICAT actuator if needed, how to correctly press or equalize the valve internally before service, how to correctly isolate the valve from the system and drain it before service. How to correctly replace the function module, if needed. We will also show you how to correctly replace the valve body gasket. How to correctly replace the valve seat, if needed. And finally, how to correctly recharge the valve and connect it to the system. The complete ICM20 motor operated valve consists of valve body, function module and ICAT actuator as seen here. The valve comes with various types of connections, cones and seats. In this video we demonstrate the service of the ICM20 valve with type A cone and seat as seen here. But the service procedure is the same for all valve variants. The service of the valve is done with the valve located on a workbench as seen here. But the procedures of valve disassembly, valve parts replacement and valve reassembly are the same for the valve located in a reforation system. Here you see the tools needed for the service of the ICM20 motor operator valve. This includes multifunction tool with the specified cone number for the ICM20 valve, torque wrenches, allen key, screwdrivers. So let us get started with the valve service. To remove the ICAT actuator from the valve, first remove the electrical cables from the ICAT according to the instructions given in the ICAT installation guide. Then loosen the locking screws so that they are not in contact with the valve top. Finally, carefully remove the ICAT actuator from the valve. Do not rotate or remove the ICAT actuator if the locking screws are not loosened. In some cases, the valve might be internally pressurized by refrigerant both upstream and downstream the valve. This internal refrigerant pressure can be equalized by manually opening the valve using the multifunction tool seen here. Therefore, carefully mount the tool onto the valve top. Then carefully rotate the tool clockwise to open the valve. Keep rotating the tool until it clicks over, which means that the valve is fully open. Then remove the tool from the valve top. The valve is now ready to be isolated from the system, drained and depressurized from refrigerant before further service. Before servicing the ICM20 motor operated valve, it is very important to do the following steps. Isolate the valve from the system, drain referent from the valve, check and ensure that there is no referent pressure before disassembly of the valve. To remove the ICM20 top cover with function module, first we loosen the bolts. Remove two of the bolts, leaving two bolts partly fixed to the valve body as a safety measure, should there by accident still be referent pressure inside the valve. Insert two screwdrivers between top cover and valve body and tilt the screwdrivers to loosen the function module from the valve body. Once ensured that there is no refrigerant pressure inside the valve, then remove the remaining two bolts. Finally, carefully lift and remove the top cover with function module. Carefully remove the gasket by hand from the valve body. Or if the gasket should stick to the top cover, as seen here, then remove it from the top cover. Do not use a sharp tool to remove the gasket, since this might damage the gasket groove. If replacement of the valve seat is needed, then carefully rotate the valve seat counterclockwise to remove it from the valve body. Then remove the o-ring by hand from the valve seat. Do not use a sharp tool to remove the o-ring, since this might damage the o-ring groove. You can use different available service kits to replace one valve pass during reassembly of the ICM20 motor operator valve. Here you see the available service kits for the ICM20 valve. These are repair kit, which includes gasket for sealing between valve body and function module, valve seat for valve type A, B and C, and O-ring for the valve seat. Overall kit, which includes gasket for sealing between valve body and function module, valve seat, O-ring for valve seat, and complete top cover with function module, including bolts, O-ring and PTFE ring and ICAT service kit, which includes O-ring, PTFE ring, grease kit, locking screws, and an Allen key for the locking screws. 
Please look for spare parts details for the different ICM 20 valve variants in the spare parts catalog, which is available on danfoss.com. So let us start the valve assembly using spare parts from these service kits. Before mounting the O-ring onto the valve seat and mounting the valve seat into the valve body, first clean the valve seat and the surface in the valve body where the valve seat is located. Then lubricate the O-ring with refrigerant oil and mount it on the valve seat. Carefully mount the valve seat into the valve body by rotating it clockwise and tightening it with the specified torque. Before mounting the valve body gasket, make sure that the surfaces where the gasket is located are clean and free from scratches. Lubricate the gasket with refrigerant oil, then carefully mount the gasket. Before mounting the top cover with function module onto the valve body, firstly do the following. Use the multifunction tool seen here to ensure that the function model is not fully open to facilitate later mounting and calibrating of the iCAD actuator. Mount the tool onto the valve top and rotate it clockwise, as seen here, until it clicks over, showing fully open function module. Then rotate the tool slightly counterclockwise so that the function module is not fully open. Finally, remove the tool from the valve top. Carefully mount the top cover with function module onto the valve body in any rotational direction as needed and press until full contact between top cover and valve body. Then mount the bolts and cross tighten them with the torque specified here. Before mounting the iCAT actuator, firstly do the following. Remove the existing O-ring and PTFE ring from the valve top by hand. Ensure that all grease on the valve top, including in O-ring and PTFE ring grooves, is fully removed before mounting a new O-ring and PTFE ring. If there is any ice or moisture present on the valve top, then it must be removed before applying new grease. Such ice or moisture can be removed with an electrical hot air gun. After ice or moisture removal by heater, ensure that the valve top is totally dry before mounting new O-ring, new PTFE ring and applying new grease. Then carefully mount the new PTFE ring onto the valve top. Apply Molycoat 55 grease onto the O-ring and carefully mount the O-ring into the O-ring groove on the valve top. Apply Molycoat 55 grease into the valve top groove below the O-ring and ensure that it is distributed all around the valve top. Clean the iCAT inner magnets. Then apply a very thin layer of Molycoat 55 grease around and on the iCAT magnets. If there is any ice or moisture present inside the iCAT, then it must be removed before applying new grease and mounting the iCAT. Again, ice or moisture can be removed with an electrical hot air gun. Rotate the locking screws clockwise by approximately three rotations and then rotate them counterclockwise to their original positions. Please note that new O-ring, PTFE ring and Molycoat 55 grease are supplied with the iCAT actuator. Check the iCAT installation guide on danfoss.com. Carefully mount the iCAT actuator onto the valve top and press it downwards until there is full contact with the top cover. Please note that you can position the iCAT in any rotational direction as needed. Then tighten the locking screws on the iCAT actuator with the specified torque. Do not move or rotate the iCAT once the locking screws are tightened. After completing the assembly of the ICM20 motor operated valve, ensure to do the following steps. Connect the valve to the system. Charge refrigerant to system and valve. Check and ensure that the refrigerant pressure is equalized in the valve and system. Finally, connect electrical cables to the iCAT actuator and perform a functional test of the ICM valve and iCAT actuator according to the instructions given in the ICM and iCAT installation guides. You have now completed service of the ICM 20 motor operator valve, so now you know how to correctly replace the iCAT actuator if needed, correct the press equalize the valve internally before service, correctly isolate the valve from the system and drain it before service, correctly replace the function module if needed, Correctly replace the valve body gasket. Correctly replace the valve seat if needed. And finally, how to correctly recharge the valve and connect it to the system. All this ensuring a safe and reliable valve operation with minimum service costs. 
have a look at the other online learnings about Enforce Valves. Thanks for watching.